Well, hi guys. I'm out here in the field. And uh, one thing I've noticed, um, probably a lot of guys don't think about this, but I do, is uh, the ground. If you look, all those little holes you see, little round holes and stuff, those are all earthworm holes. Um, where they've come out of the ground. Now I've been told all my life you want to see this, the healthier soil you look for that. If you see plenty of those well little holes in the ground you know you got healthy soil because you have plenty of earthworms which gives you good soil air and water movement in the soil it's what I've always been told uh, you know it's kind of one of those things that uh, just kind of, I walk out in these fields and look, look at for stuff like that. Uh, I'm really surprised to see how this ground is cracked. You know, this is March. It's soft. We even got some rain last night, and there were some fairly healthy cracks here but yeah I was granddad always taught me both of them that uh, when you see you know all them little holes little round holes like that that your soil is healthy Because you got plenty of uh, earthworms in it. Now, a lot of these guys around here will put anhydrous on, and it'll actually kill the earthworms. Uh, place next door over there, that field, they they've done that several times, where they put it on too heavy, and it's literally well, it got the ground smelling like a septic tank. I mean, it's gray and slimy looking. But this is one, like I said, my granddad's always instilled upon me. Soil health is easily checked by this. You know, something as simple as this. Walking around looking for night crawler and earthworm holes. And there's plenty of them. So I think this ground must be pretty good shape, actually. But uh, thought I'd pass that along. Uh, please tell me if I'm completely off base on this. But you know that's what I was taught over the years. Um, you know, it's, I guess it's kind of one of them oddball things. That I was always told to have healthy soil, you got to have a healthy amount of earthworms in it. And just walking around looking, I see plenty of holes. And Lord, I see plenty of these take on onions everywhere. <laughs> Ugh, and I know this is going to turn green. I'm hoping. Uh, this weekend and the next week, it's supposed to turn cold. I hope it freezes. That'll kill a bunch of these. At least that's my my hope and desire. <laughs> but at any rate, guys, just a little bit of a oddball one. Uh, I know a lot of guys won't even would never think to look at the look at ground like this. And it's not just here. It's 
over in that plow ground from last fall. Um, you know, you can see them. Just little bitty holes coming out of the ground. Get over here. Get a spot where you can see them. Just little bitty holes. Uh, I'm I'm happy with what I see. I'll put it that way. Uh, I ain't happy to see all these dead gum things laying everywhere, but that's why I plowed it for. Get them up and get them killed. Hmm. Hey, right, guys. I'm gonna get off here. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit. Uh, yeah. If you think I'm completely nuts on this, tell me. But that's what I was always told. When you see them little bitty holes, your soil is healthy. Because you got a good worm population. Anyway, right, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time. And as always, Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And tell me if I'm right or wrong. <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys.